Franciscan friar Larry leaks Meg's nasty question to him, exposing her plot, open the church for private profit. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been warned about keeping the California lifestyle afloat after being spotted rubbing shoulders with Hollywood royalty. The couple were seen at the 1805 Live, where they joined pals Ellen DeGeneres and Oprah Winfrey, as well as Hollywood actor Kevin Costner, at an event to raise money for a first responders charity. It was the pair's first public outing since they returned to the United States following the Invictus Games in Germany earlier this month. It also comes as their fans ponder what their next moves will be, especially in the wake of their multi-million dollar contract with Spotify being axed. And according to the Mirror's royal editor Russell Myers, it will be interesting to see what the future is set to bring for the Sussexes. Speaking to Sky News Australia, he said, We haven't seen too much of Meghan over recent months. We've seen quite a lot of Harry, of course, back for the coronation, riding solo, and then back just a few weeks ago, tying in with the late Queen's passing. But what's on the horizon for these two? We've seen that they need to make an awful, awful lot of money to keep their newfound California style afloat. Are they going to be mixing with some new production executives? Were they rubbing shoulders with the Hollywood bigwigs trying to get their latest projects off the ground? Who knows? When Meghan and Harry are involved, there's normally something cooking. So I'm waiting and watching to see what they come out with next. Commentators and royal experts may not be able to predict the Montecito couple's next move, but a Hollywood source revealed that Meghan attended Kevin's event last week to reach out to local philanthropists, which includes A-list celebrities. She wants to learn how to make more money through charity, while the Archwell has been touched. So Meghan and Harry need more strategy for the next moves. At the event, Meghan met Franciscan friar Larry Goslin of St. Barbara. She demanded to take a photo with him, then she asked Father Larry, an indelicate question, an insider heard her say, how to profit from the activities of a church. This raises speculation that Meghan and Harry may want to create their own church where they can profit from charitable contributions without being exposed to public scrutiny. It will be supported by Doria. A local commented about Meghan's plan, I know a famous couple who've done more to perpetuate prosperity gospel around the world than any other church. They took in over a quarter of a billion tax-free in donations in 2020, whilst shut down during the pandemic. That's more than $250 million. Naturally, virtually none of that went to the poor or infirmed, although they sought loads of free press for buying chicken sandwiches for a local hospital. A few times, maybe. No, they didn't apply for nor receive any public-private partnerships, because they'd have to reveal how much their hundreds of pastors each make. They spend 55% of their annual donations on salaries to give you an idea of how high those salaries are. Almost every other church did file for and receive PPP funds. So, Harry and Meghan creating their own church could be lucrative if they had the slightest idea what they were doing. Another one said, This is like the WE charity they and many celebrities were part of. Big events, splashy PR, lots of photo ops. Then you scratch the surface and wonder, what exactly do they do? Why so much spent on PR? A perfect metaphor for Meghan's charity work in general.